engage B in five, four, three, four, five, four, three, two, one, one, one. one. Anyway, here comes a unique mission. I mean, technically the last mission was also unique, but this is a whole thing. Keep an ear out for the music. Feels like my head's on backwards. Monster, give us a status report. We made it through in one piece. I don't recognize the corporate markings. It seems my contact may have not been who she claimed. You transported clear across the city. It's going to take us a couple of minutes to track down your precise location. Secure the prototype and await our arrival. Yeah. So, um, welcome to Omni, the surprise fifth corporation. And um, like I said, just as we as we go through this, just just keep an keep an ear on the background music. I like I like their style here. Oh, it's thrown us right in the deep end here. We've got, like, what, three doors out of this room? We have no idea where the enemy's gonna come from, although they tend not to cross into the elevator, although that's, um... Every now and then I find that assumption is, uh, tested. I don't like empty rooms. Oh. oh, that was annoying. At least we found the console. on cameras always manages to be disappointing when you control them. Oh yeah, and it's very important to remember, you can close the doors on the elevator. I guess it's equally important to remember to use the cover in this room, because it does exist. This room is actually fixed, it's one of the parts of this map that doesn't change. Is the room with the elevator in it will have this big enormous desk, and it is a very good hiding spot, because in my experience nobody ever patrols behind it. The only question is how far out here do we dare venture? And where the hell is everybody? And also, where are the- I mean, there's one console, but where are the rest of the consoles? Oh, looks like we got our investigation directions, at least. I don't recognize those uniforms. I hate not knowing who we're up against. Oh, for the God's sake. These people. I'm seeing elements sourced from all of the major corps. Interesting. Could this be the same conglomerate that orchestrated the raid on our headquarters? That seems just a little bit too convenient, doesn't it? A bit too tidy. 
We can speculate later. Focus on the mission goals for now. So, this guy has eight armor. This means that it's an Omni Protector. Um, I think we've come across barrier guys before. They're the guys who have who have firewalls, and then they have armor equal to their firewalls. Um, these guys also have more AP when they have more firewalls. So as we hack them, they become slower. If you have, uh, if your if your starting setup includes parasites, or if you just have the parasite program, it's really good on those guys because you can basically just set and forget. Unfortunately, we don't have that. Also, unfortunately, we got spotted by a very unlikely camera drone, which I guess is now hunting, so... That's annoying. many ways. Why not? There's nothing better to use this thing on right now. And it generally is a good idea to get these guys AP down. If only because it means they take longer doing their patrols. Speaking of which... Oh good. Civilians, they're working late, aren't they? Maybe we should interrogate them. There's no time. Even if they know anything useful, it'll be blocked behind redundant levels of mimetic training. Pity. Have I mentioned I love Monster's voice acting? I wish I could say the word interrogate the way he does. Well, I guess we're sticking with this setup then, aren't we? We do have more cameras. And I guess it's good to know that there's nothing here. And that means we want to get Prism out of there. Oh, there is... okay, there's down here. Well, that's through the beams! This whole thing is annoying. And this is the... yeah, the wall puts a demon in, which... might just... Like, that could be nothing, or it could be something, and we're too early into this mission for me to want to gamble on it, so... I guess we kind of have to go the long way around. Let's see if we can find the key card as well. We've got Monster. I'm never sure what to do with Monster during this mission. Yeah. So the objective could be down here, or it could be all the way over here. We're going to have to poke around a bit more, a bit more before we find out. goes the foot traffic. Now, if I'm not very much mistaken, these guys look like Harbingers. Harbingers are fun! Um, they've got a couple notable things about them. They've got um, 
they've got a, a super powerful heart monitor, so normally it's, it's plus two to alarm when you kill one. These guys give you plus four if you kill them. They also give you plus two just when you KO them. But the real fuck you about these guys is that they have really long, often circuitous patrol routes. So they just walk the whole way around the level and there's no really good way to, to deal with them permanently. Well, permanently. You, it's a huge batch of alarm to kill them. KOing them causes almost as much trouble and they're only distractible for so long. Basically the whole place is kind of a threat. So you've got to keep track of these guys. They also like tend to have ordinary armor. Yeah, they, they walk through this room. They're probably, oh, they're gonna walk around to where Prism is, so that's gonna be annoying as well, isn't it? Now we've annoyed that drone. On top of everything else. Is this, is this room seriously empty? Well, okay then. Uh, excuse me again. Ah, sorry about that. I went to cough and then went to drink my water and then I accidentally elbowed the button on my controller that makes the camera spin around. Now these guys... Yeah, I wondered about them. I feel like they might be able to carry things, but mostly they're just there to annoy you. Um, they're, they're civilians, they won't shoot you. They will, however, run away. And I think they can passively alert other people while they're running away. They're just a thing. You can go and hide more carefully. And then I guess next turn we're going down this way. And if we're very lucky, we might be able to pickpocket these guys on the way through. Pack you a bit more. I also don't like that I don't know what the drone is doing now. God, that was annoying. First turn. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Yeah, these guys are annoying. I don't know if I mentioned that. What the? How are you doing? We can possibly mess with them a bit, but uh, I don't know how good an idea it is. Because that guy's coming for What the hell is this guy doing? He's walking back and forth there? That means he'd probably see us in most of these spots. But not, I think, in this spot. Also, what's this other guy? Ah. 
they're not walking in a circle, he's walking to the ordinary end of his route. isn't it? Fine, let's hack the last couple things. Oh, we can't hack all of the things. Seriously, where are the consoles? They must, like, there must be five of them down here. That means we're going to have a, a time getting back to the elevator going through all this. measures to bear against us. This had better be worth the risk. Um, so yeah, surprise. The alarm levels now do different things. That's a fun change. The way this actually works, like, the way that the game makes it seem like it works is that uh, the guards will be assigned new patrols that they'll go back and forth to, but, like, it's actually a little bit it's actually technically simpler than that, but in practice it's a bit more complicated than that. What actually happens is every guard just becomes assigned a random investigation point, like a curiosity point at random. They will, of course, then spend their turns walking over to it, and then when they get there they'll look to the left and they'll look to the right, and then they'll navigate back to their original patrol, at which, they, at which point they will return to it like nothing ever happened. Um, that's very great and conceptually very simple, but it does mean that for a good couple of turns you're going to be running into guards in unexpected locations. And it does mean everybody, like I think even, even this, this scientist is going to go and investigate unknown places. And International does not have enough AP To both observe all of these guys and get to safety. So I think it's going to have to be down to prison to get down here. As ever, we could just start shooting, but... also burn a ping which will hmm. I don't know if when this if that would make them permanently forget about their investigation or if it would just stall them for a bit but either way this is all very inconvenient I guess we can still get out of this room which will be something this guy. Wish I knew where he was going though. 
and the monster can just stay right behind his desk. Drone's about to get scanny, isn't it? Yeah, there are what, four, four guards? Well, three guards and a scientist up here. I think we might have to hack the drone, but I think we possibly can't. Well, we can, we've got, uh, we've got dagger, so that's annoying. Do I, do I still not have any hacking points in prison? I, I do not. Also, there might be a guard down here. I don't know. Yeah, thought as much. This is an Omni Soldier. There's nothing really special about him, he just naturally has three armor. Which means that he's immune to most of our bullshit. It happens that we have a monster's uh, blowgun and, uh, uh, and International's railgun can you know, KO him, but that's like a whole thing. Yeah, I think we have no choice but to dagger the drone. This means that we can move it away and I think next turn we'll be able to move it somewhere out of the way where guards will be able to see it and they'll all go and run and investigate the down drone. More importantly, after we've done that, International will be able to actually get out of the room. Actually, if we want International to get out of the room, we should probably just distract these guys briefly. Anyway, we now have no power, because we have found no consoles. Anyway, that guy is looking right at this door, so it would be a very bad idea to try and hack it, or to, to open it, rather. What are you doing? Okay, we can work with that. We'll have to work quickly, but... And monsters are just going to stay hidden behind the desk. I'd really like to have a portable server right about now. Could have gone disastrously wrong. Hmm, looking around. Huh, nothing. Investigating. Guess it was nothing. How how are you doing back there, monster? Everything good? Yeah. 
first double check what you're doing. Is he, are you doing anything in particular, mate? No? It says he's patrolling, but he doesn't have a patrol route shown. exactly where these guys are looking we might be able to stall them a bit more but um, I think it's, it's all the same to us hey, they'll be like hey what was that? that give us a tiny bit more time I'd really like to get further down here, but if any of those guys try to come back through this door, which I'm pretty sure one of them is thinking about, then it'll be major trouble, so... I'm gonna have to go this way instead. Meanwhile... I'm still not really sure what to do with Prism. Might be able to get a bit more perspective down here. This whole thing is really kind of a mess. Has this guy just parked himself here? Yeah. Why are you annoying? And where did the soldier go? I'm gonna like go down here and, and try and poke around, then he's just gonna be there facing right at the door, isn't he? can get down here. And what a miracle. Actually found a console. Well, this seems like a necessary evil. Prism. This guy carrying anything? Nope. Is this a hilariously bad idea? Well, where is that guy? Like, is he? Like, I feel like we'd spot him if he was if he was actually right here. of an AP. Is he in the corner? Okay, he must have moved through to the next room.
Oh, none of that. Didn't notice that there. This all annoying. Might work out in our favour though. You'll notice that for all my like urgency at finding out where the hell stuff is, we are, are kind of on the opposite of a timer here. We have an objective we have to hold out for 20 turns. This drone is down. <clears throat> because the jet won't be here until then. Guess it was nothing. Hmm. Must be Joby and I. Now, what's your deal? Are you, is this your new patrol route? Yeah, okay, okay, that's good. I can work with that. Great idea. And I can never remember who's got what chip. I think International wants to have the Buster 3 actually, but um, we can arrange that. I believe this has a demon on it. Why is everything annoying? Okay. Well. Predictive brawling is a is a nice one if you're into a melee build. I mean it's I, I don't think I should really have to explain much there. But uh yeah. The real magic here is we've got stims. We've got a stim 3 and a stim 4. I believe I made a promise once to talk about stim, about level 4 um, equipment if I survived a, a, a mission that seemed very much like I was not going to survive it, and then I didn't do that. So um, tier 4 equipment is ludicrously powerful. Like this contrasts, like a stim 3 is plus 8 AP for turn cooldown. Stim 4 gives you 10 AP and also unlimited attacks in one turn. And if, you're, if you've got a good memory, you'll remember the flurry gun. The gun that's, like, ludicrously powerful but can only be fired for one turn during a mission. Flurry gun plus Stim 4 equals a thing. Um, the thing that balances the level 4 equipment is that you can only use them once per mission. You have to use a charge pack to restore them otherwise. However, they do refill for free between missions, unlike just ordinary guns. So, there is that. Anyway, um, Stim 3 is a, a reliable friend. Like, Stim 3 is just... A, like, it's such a basic thing. It's not a flashy thing. It's not a complicated thing. It's just... It's been there for me in playthrough after playthrough after playthrough after playthrough. And I will always love it. In fact, we can use it immediately. <clears throat> I love that animation, they just jam it into her leg. He's going a long way away. And you are going a convenient way. Okay, good.
like there might be someone around that corner so I'm just gonna hide here and take this opportunity to maybe finally hack the rest of this guy like I don't know what the hell else I would do with this power It is worth it with these guys, even if you're never going to fight them, because the, the, the barriers is one thing, but um, them being slower, it just helps. You don't want enemies being able to run a lot. <clears throat> and with that... Still don't know where you guys all think you're going. I can't... It doesn't seem to be showing a, a destination readout. And are you guys now just patrolling over there? Well, that's... Okay, although I think that guy's a harbinger, so he probably has other business. This guy's just... yep. Okay. Well, whatever. Nine turns out of... out of twenty. The twenty isn't a hard limit, by the way, it's just, like, you can't escape until turn twenty. Yeah, um, alarm level 2 is now plus one armor to every guard. And weirdly, this is handled by means of, of installing a, a Kiton demon that never runs out. I don't know why they chose to do it like that, rather than just, like, having a, a, a provision for it. <coughs> I don't understand it. Anyway, this is going to get us seen, but... Do you see that? Yeah, it was only a scientist. More importantly, it lets us see what's down here, which is basically nothing. Which is actually annoying. I would really like to be able to get behind here. Oh. Well, Better hope we find something to hack, then. We got consoles. Now oh, that was a long shot. We can hit the demon database. It'll give us a demon, but... Oh, hell. Okay, it's only two turns, and I'm about done with this turn anyway. on going in these directions. You guys still just patrolling over here? Okay, good, good. Like, this is a harbinger and he's stationary. Like, do you guys fully appreciate how weird that is? Okay. 
Ah, right. Very annoying. Ah, there's our MacGuffin. A what? It's a technical term. Ah, fourth wall away dialogue. Now, this room has um, some stuff to it. I mean, this is just a case, but there's this door, and we need to get the door console. And it's all protected, and we can't hack, and there's another fucking paradox demon on that thing, so... That just all kind of sucks, doesn't it? Although it is notable, and you should never ever forget, that Paradox does not stop you from using Buster Chips. Okay, you guys still okay down here? Yeah, that guy has seriously just gone from being an Omni Harbinger to going back and forth in a completely non-essential area. Okay, I can live with that. Where are you going? Seriously, a whole room of nothing? I'm kind of getting that sense. Yep. the alarm tracker. Oh boy, we're going to need a strategy for this. We've got a dagger coming up in two turns. Internash right next to this console. So we could have that thing literally on this turn. But like, what would be the point? There's nothing really left to hack. We've uncovered the whole level. And we do need to stall for a couple more turns while we figure out what the hell's what the hell we're gonna do while we wait for the jet to arrive. Level 3 is now plus two firewalls on everything. So that's great. So yeah, um, civilians, when they spot you, they won't... Um, <clears throat> well, they will raise an alarm tracker, but they won't put an alert on you like a guard would. Also, you know, they won't shoot you. Uh, but this guy will now just run 
uh, like he will sprint every turn to the nearest guard elevator. I don't think he even alerts people as he goes. Although he does still um, track us. But yeah, you can you can hear him screaming. It's quite charming really. Now notably from down here we have a couple routes. We never did find the the pass card. I guess we must have just not pickpocketed someone. Oh well. We can't get that yet because we need dagger on the next turn. But we'll be ready for it. And monster can just keep on doing his thing up here, I guess. May want just to keep one eye on this drone, because it could get annoying. But this is a pretty good route out for Internash if we can just get her past these idiots. Plus there's a console there. But yeah. The main reason this level has a, a, a 20 turn timer on it before you can escape is to make sure that you see all of the advanced alarm levels. Because the advanced alarm levels is basically uh, just how it is now. Oh come on! Whatever. I guess all the, all the civilians are finding us. This is entirely manageable. Well, here goes. Three turns of no hacking. We've got it. Don't leave us twisting in the wind for too long, Al. We're almost there. Get back to the teleport room and stop whining. I don't know if anyone's in that room. I mean, I could shoot these guys, but what would be the point? They're just gonna run. So our main dilemma, really, is is getting Prism out, because she's got to go through this room, which has a bit of traffic. We can't get out. I mean, we could have a backtrack and go out through where International is, but uh, that'd take longer. Not that taking longer is really a problem at this point. We've also lost track of where the drone is. Four on uh, alarm, uh, armor level four on this guy, which means that only the railgun can actually hurt him. But you guys still aren't doing anything. God, what's that camera drone doing? He could still mess everything up for us.
This room is more or less going to be clear when these idiots leave. It's really just the drone that's the only unknown at this point. Plus whatever's going on back here. What was I saying about Prism having to get through this room and it's irritating foot traffic? Should be a spot next turn though. God. That's annoying. that drone gone. It should be like around here somewhere. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're going into another alarm level next turn, so that's going to be annoying, but we are more or less in a decent position here. There it is. Yeah, that drone is possibly... It's not going to get it next turn, but if it gets too close to where Monster is... So yeah, this one's interesting. Um, all guards... Yeah, this is also done by means of a demon. Uh, guards now um, are KO'd for one turn less each. And if any of them were KO'd right then, they would have instantly recovered one point, which means that they could just immediately wake up. Which, yes, does suck quite a lot. Oh no, this works. Right, yeah, that's actually where the exit is. Sorry, for a second I completely um, lost all track of my ability to know where literally anything in this room was. We're going to get Prism back to the elevator room, more or less, right as the jet arrives.
Yeah, fuck it, why not? A little bit of extra security. Okay, we've we got one turn to spare. Not when I'm complaining. Well, I'm, I'm kind of complaining because it just would have been the most poetic perfection if I'd have arrived back here exactly on time. But hey, what are you going to do? and ready for transport. I hear her. Don't get used to it. Well, I suppose just for the sake of showing it off, let's KO this guy for one turn with Monster's Bullshit Cannon. <laughs> this will make the alarm level go up. And, yep. Yeah. What a demon to roll. So yeah, this would be an, an enormous problem if this wasn't literally the last turn and I wasn't just doing this to show off. Anyway, we did, yeah, we searched that guy. Anyway, before we leave, we've got to do something very important. And um, hand over Monster's gun. Because in the grand JRPG tradition, Monster is about to leave our, our party and he's going to take all of his equipment with him. So um, if you gave him anything, that would really fucking suck, wouldn't it? Fortunately, it works in reverse. Oh, that went well. And of course, he wants to do business with us immediately afterwards. Only this thing for a client. Hmm. Real motivated seller. He won't beat this price. Master chip too. I'll take it. It's dangerous to go alone. Here, take this. <laughs> References. Anyway, paralyzer. I don't really care about very much. All the. I mean, I. I it's a lie to say that I don't care about med gel, but. Uh, Whatever, I think one should be enough. And it's thus far it's been International who's had the med gel used on her, so... Yeah, here's where things get annoying. When you have four items in storage, you can't put any more things in storage. I don't know why your agents are literally able to carry more things than can go in storage. I'm surprised it took the corpse it's just how it works. To go after you. They're usually not so lenient with dissent. Have you ever seen a city block after a KNL pacification sweep? Messy stuff. They're completely ruthless when their bottom line is threatened. I'm oh, just. I should be able to move these. this and make a tidy profit. Arbitrage is a beautiful thing, isn't it? And I guess we'll just swap that out. I'm honestly not certain about the about keeping the neural dot, the overclocked neural dot. It's like, it's very interesting, and it's very nice to have an armor piercing level three. But like, keep your eye on that AI, will you? The way Gladstone talks to me gives me the creeps. There's a reason you're supposed to reset the damn things every couple of years. 
Personally, I'd always just rather have the, the 300 credits than actually have this thing. Cool as it is. I should charge your cleaning fee. This still has blood on it. Yeah, you, sh you should know. You did it. Okay, and... Well... I mean, this would be very tidy for me to use this exact thing to get internet shut to a, uh, up to a perfect 20, but... Uh, I'd honestly rather uh, work on the rest of this a bit. I keep complaining every time about not having hacking on prison. So I think I'm going to tempt fate by continuing to not have it. Otherwise we've got the neural dart, still got the cloak, got a med gel just for good luck. And the rest of this is all going on. I think when when Prism gets up to full speed, I'm gonna I'm gonna give her the the, mono, the monomolecular railgun, just because she's gonna have the most movement points. 